Duties of the Entry Control Officer are nomination and completion of the BA Entry Control Board. Duties of the Entry Control Officer are nomination. An individual nominated as the Entry Control Officer must, as soon as practicable, examine the Entry Control Board, ensure that the board is clean without any previous entry displayed, and is free from signs of damage or excessive wear. Examine the availability of BA and associated ancillary equipment such as tabards, guidelines, branch and main guideline tallies, evacuation whistle, chinograph pencil, emergency key, thermal imaging camera and personal radios. Ensure the correct time is displayed on the entry control board clock. Ensure rapid deployment elapsed time clock is reset. Ensure the board is stored appropriately on the appliance and report any defects or deficiency to the officer in charge. Duties whilst at the station. Duties of BA wearers on nomination. Duties of entry control officers on nomination. Duties of stage 1 entry control officer. Duties of stage 2 entry control officer. Implementation of main control. All of the above refer to Brigade SOP 6.2, Section 4. Parts of a BA Entry Control Board. Entry Control Officer Name. Analog Clock. Incident Location. Rapid Deployment Digital Clock. Entry Control Point Indicator. Entry Control Board Stage. Rapid deployment slots, BA team slots, Dorset calculator, time of whistle column, location of team column, remarks column, emergency team slots. Record entry control officer name and rank. Record address of incident from tip sheet and location at incident if required. Record entry control point identification. Record stage one or two. Record present and next hour on Dorset calculator. Fill in tally with the time in and record the cylinder pressure if required. Bracket the team in the time of whistle column. Overwrite the set number on the board. Using the Dorset calculator, work out the individual time of whistle. Record this inside the bracket. Underline the lowest time of whistle. Record the lowest individual's time of whistle outside the bracket and underline this three times. This is the team's time of whistle. As the rapid deployment is not being used, put a cross through the rapid deployment box. The first two slots are still used if rapid deployment not in use. Put a wavy line under the team to easily identify the size of the team. Record the location of team, work location not entry point. Record the brief you have given the team in the remarks column. Repeat the procedure for all further teams, ensuring all information is in the correct column and clear. In the remarks column, record any relevant information, including any equipment, such as hose reel, thermal imaging camera, comms, that the team is equipped with. The remarks column should also record the call sign of the team. Team call signs. Call signs should be given to all teams entering the risk. The call sign should reflect the entry control point that they are committed from. For example, teams entering from entry point A will have their call sign prefixed Alpha. 
Therefore, teams entering from the entry point A will be Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 3, etc. Teams Abbreviations The only abbreviations to be used on the BA board are the abbreviations recognised by Mid and West Wales Fire and Rescue Service. A list of these recognised abbreviations are to be kept in the BA bag on the appliance for ease of reference at an incident. The abbreviations recognised within Mid and West Wales Fire Rescue Service are BGL Branch Guideline 1, 2, 3 or 4 CFFT Compartment Firefighting Team CL Casualty Located CSP Compartment Search Procedure DSP Directional Search Procedure FFT Firefighting Team HM Hose Management HRJ Hose Reel Jet J Main Jet LH Left Hand Denoting Orientation of Search MGL Main Guideline RE Re-entry RH Right Hand Denoting Orientation of Search SRT Search and Rescue Team TIC Thermal Image Camera TL Team Leader